welterweight champion of the world, Luis Jaguar Paul Coyazo. It's time to go perform. I did my rehearsing in the gym. Now it's time to go to work. Now this is when the fun comes. Going in there performing in front of the, in front of the boxing crowd. And doing what they want, an exciting fight. <laughs> Boy Jack's the army base, week two, training. About to get this road work in. Still a little tight, but I know it's come fight time. I feel like a million bucks. I'm not worried about how I feel now, it's fight time, fight night. Today we um doing five miles, five miles is that for hills. Um end of the day is all work, all work dedication. We'll get it in. What's it going to be like returning, fighting for the first time uh, in 
what, over three years coming back coming back home to New York? I think it's gonna uh, be a great outcome. Um, I haven't fought in New York for quite some time. The fans haven't seen me fight in New York quite some time, so I believe April 13th, it might, it's gonna be a sellout. Oceana Hall is gonna be a sellout with a lot of um, Colasso fans, and um, I'm very excited. I'm, I'm anxious to get in there and see the outcome. Louis Colasso is right here in this camp, and uh, I know Louis since his amateurs. He used to travel a lot. Um, he's a good guy, man. Good guy, good person. And uh, well, right now, so I feel I'm, I feel so comfortable being in this team right now, this camp with Lou and all these guys, uh, Chris, Rafael, and uh, we're just having fun in here, training hard. Oh, Louis coming back strong. I hear about Louis so much. He fought against the best too, and uh, here we, here we. He will, he's the next champ again. He will fight the best guys in the world. I know. But we got to uh, just relax, and, and, and the hotel had a pool and a jacuzzi, and um, you know we all jumped in the pool, and you got to see the fighters as they, you know, as they pretty much just joked around and threw each other in the pool and talked and uh, talked about family and other things other, other than boxing, and we sat in the jacuzzi with Louie and spoke about you know just everything in general. Nothing, you know, it wasn't all about boxing. You you get to see Louie on you know Colazzo on a different level. We already had the pool downstairs, the hotel, black and the guys, hard day at work. We were tense and um, chilling, relaxing. We got our downtime before we go to sleep for the night. Ah. We in South Carolina, we <laughs> finished doing a do not have my run here in Lake Murray. After all, this is what it is, man. It's peace. Enjoy the view, man. Um, camping great. Working hard. Yeah, everybody just, um, all my trainers just kicking my ass, man. Just, I'm grateful for it. End of the day, it's all worth it. I hate them now, thank them later, man. And stay tuned for week four and fight time, April 13th. Catch it on uh, Behind the Ring, what do you call boxing.com. It's on. It's on.
are you targeting particularly who do you love to get a fight with that you, that you feel, you know, for whatever reason, uh, just doesn't belong, you know, in the ring with you, but, you know, it's being built up like, like a killer. Um, I would love to fight Miguel Cotto, man. That's a, a fight that I always wanted. And it never happened. But I think it'd be a, a great fight for not only for for the Puerto Rican fans, but uh, for the boxing fans. You know, he got a, a brawler style, have a boxer style, and it would be an exciting fight. Two Puerto Ricans going at it, man. And one from Puerto Rico and one from New York. I think it would be an awesome fight, not only for the Puerto Ricans, but uh, for the Latin, Latin uh, people and for the boxing fans itself. Getting intense, want to take some shit. They ain't going nowhere to put in pressure. That's what I need. I need sparring like that to get me back on my P's and Q's. Um, on what I was called my bike, but um, hard work, me in camp, another day. Stay tuned for the next one. Peace. It's amazing to be given the opportunity from not only behind the ring, but Louis, Louis Colazzo and his whole training camp to let me come and film. Louis is, you know, a huge fighter, WBA world champ. Uh, just to be able to be in this training camp with them and joking around. Louis is a great person. I get to talk to him. I mean, we keep in contact. The, the whole experience was amazing to watch him spar, to watch him run. To see him not only as a boxer, but as a person behind the scenes, just amazing footage that we got, and I was lucky to be a part of the whole thing. I came in today to work with Louie at White Rock. This is where we're doing our training camp. We, Louis has been here for the past three weeks. I come in, we're gonna start sharpening him up on the pads and keep his spar, <clears throat> pick up his spar a little bit. Andrew Stokes been running the camp, who he usually does. Um, Andrew does a good job. We speak every day on his phone to you know make sure everything is going good in camp. He, he lets me know what who's coming in, what spar partners, what's, if they gonna box, what they're doing. So he's like one of the best coordinators I ever we had in camp. So he's been with us for the past ten years. When it's time to joke around, he plays around, but when it's time to go to work, it's time to go to work. And I'm the same way. I play around sometimes, but when it's time to get down to the business, just go for it. No more playing. It's business, it's work. And if it's business, if you play around, you're gonna hurt. Mike been here already and a few other guys that you guys see we had pretty much like three or four sparring partners that came in and sparred with Louie. You guys taped some of it. Some of it is, you know, some time I've done on different times, but now I'm here, we're gonna pick it up this weekend. And um, he's gonna spar. He's gonna get, you know, quality sparring. 
This is his first fight back. We're gonna see where he at. And, you know, we're gonna the next camp is really gonna be tougher because then we really start picking it up. You know, um, he's and Louis ready. He's a professional. He acts it. He knows when it's time to get away and go to camp. And you know, I don't have to tell him. He knows when to tell me. So, and I know when I have to come in and work with him. And you know, then we'll go back home and try to pick it up for the last eight to ten days. We ready. We back. Back in New York. Training camp was good. Can't wait to fight night now. April 13th. Couple of days. Finishing up on uh, some little things. That's it. Getting ready. Now, knowing, knowing what it's like to see that kind of level of success, um, how, how do you feel at this stage of your career moving forward and trying to get back to that position, uh, knowing what it's like to, you know, look, look, uh, world title? I'm going to be there again. Um, I'm still motivated, I'm still hungry, I'm still determined. And I will be there again.